welcome. My name is Debbie and this is Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. And we're continuing on working with our spring folio today. Um, this is going to be part five. If you missed any of the parts, I'll link the, the playlist below. Um, so far we did um, these little flip things. Everything is flipping and flapping. And um, we have pocket, a pocket there and a pocket there. And we have a pull out here and it flips open like that. And we have the same thing on the other side. So on these pages, I made four pockets and then some different uh, pieces of ephemera to tuck in there. So that was on videos one and two. And then on video three, I made this uh, sliding booklet. So it slides up and down on this belly band and it opens like that. And then I've also got some hidden journaling space behind the belly band there that you can't see, just peeks out. And then on this side, I have a waterfall, just a small little waterfall, but it has a twist on it. So you can rotate it sideways and do it in landscape mode. And then when you're finished, you can rotate it back. So I show how to make that. So today I want to work on this page and this page. So I don't want anything two dimensional this time um, because it's starting to get a little chubby already. Um, I have a half inch spine, but um, yeah, it's starting to get a little chubby. So I'm just going to make something relatively flat on those two pages, but um, it's going to be a little unique piece of ephemera again. So um, if you're interested, um, keep watching. So to start off with, I'm going to um, make a pocket on those two pages and put a tag in there. And then at the top of that, um, at the top of the pocket in the tag, I'm going to make a flip out um, hidden piece of journaling. So I'm going to make the pocket and the tag first. So I printed these out from the Spring Bounty Kit. Um, this is Spring Embellishments, page 10. And I'm going to use maybe one of each of these. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. This pocket is a little bit wide for my page, so I think I'm going to um, just fold the sides in and make like a, a tabbed pocket sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to use these two and then I'll just use the ephemera wherever. And then I'm going to use these two pink tags. And I think they'll, they're will they going to be a touch wide as well, so I'm just going to probably just cut off the edges a little bit. But this one is Spring Embellishments, page two of the Spring Bounty Collection. So the Spring Bounty Collection is linked below as well. And that's what I use for all of these pages and ephemera in here is the Spring Bounty. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Lots of uh, uh, gorgeous pages, colors. There's fussy cuts. There's ephemera. There's everything you could possibly need. So I'm just going to get this cut out and then we'll get started. All right, so I got all my bits cut out here. So I'm going to start with the pockets and I'm going to make the pockets a little bit narrower. I'm just going to put this one aside. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one. So on, on these two pockets, I'm just going to score it at half an inch on each side. That will give me a narrower pocket, plus it'll give me um, a little bit of room in the pocket to, to put my tags in. And then I will do half an inch on this side as well. inch on either side of that and then these are I printed borderless and sometimes my borderless I'm not sure if it stretches the images or something but I think it it's not always true to size so it's almost three and a half so that's perfect for my my pages but my tags are going to be a little bit big so 
Um, because they have a tag shape at the top, I think I'm going to take the, an equal amount off of each side. And I'm going to need the tags to be about... Um, they could probably almost be three and a quarter because I've got those edges on there. So if I take, I'm just going to try to take a quarter of an inch off each side and see how that works. I may need to take a little bit more, but um, how am I going to measure that on here? How am I going to measure that on here? It's not going to work on there, I don't think. So let me just put a pencil mark on the back of this tag at a quarter of an inch on that side and a quarter of an inch on that side. And then trim that off and trim this side off. I apologize if this is not completely in frame. It probably isn't. Okay, I think that will be perfect. Okay, and I'm going to just do that to the other side as well. So just take a quarter of an inch off each end. Or each side of the pocket, rather. Or each side of the tag, rather. I can't work and speak at the same time. Okay. So I just took, if you're not, weren't able to see all of that. I just trimmed a quarter of an inch off of the sides of both tags. So now my tags should fit perfectly into these pockets, which they do. And they do. So that's what I wanted. Don't need those anymore. Now these tags, I'm going to back onto something a little bit stiffer. So I think I'm just going to find a piece of file folder or some old scrapbook paper and back these and then I'm going to ink around all of the edges and then I'll be right back. All right so I trimmed off this pocket to make it the same height as this pocket so I have two identical pockets now and I backed my um, tags with some cardstock and stitched around the edges. So now I'm going to put one of these pockets on each of these side panels here. Okay, so I got my two pockets glued on there and I stitched around my tags and inked around them and those fit perfectly in these pockets here. I'm trying to be careful because the pockets I don't think are completely dry yet on the corners. So those will just live in there. And now we're gonna make a little element for the top here to have some secret journaling space. So I just took um, a piece of paper, I cut this already, um, from the, the Spring Bounty collection, just a, a ticking strip, a ticking I think is what they call it, the stripes. I thought this would be um, a good writing space because it's got the lines already. And on the opposite side I found a green ledger page in the All Things Green kit by the junk journal studio as well and it's just some green ledger with some distressing but you can use whatever you want so i already cut two strips that are three and a quarter inches by a, the whole 11 inch um, piece this one i don't need, need for now so i have two strips that are three and a quarter by 11. so i want to cut or want to fold those in half this is just on a straight copy paper so it's very easy to fold and then fold it in half again. And I'm going to do that to both pieces. And then I'm going to decide which 
side I want to mostly write on. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to figure that out in a minute. So I'll, I want to glue part of this down on my page and then I want to kind of zigzag fold it. So I fold up, I fold down, and I fold up again like that. So then I have this sort of thing. And I want, because this ledger is kind of directional, I'm going to glue this part down on my paper and then this will be pull out for some journaling space. So I'm just going to fold this top down about an inch like that so we can have a little bit of a, a pull to pull that down like that. And I am going to do some sort of pull. I think that would actually be nice to do. I have two of those. So I think I will just put a bit of ink on there. And I want to glue this on so that it's kind of half on the ledger paper and half off. I don't want it to hang below this edge though because that will interfere with the, I think it'll interfere anyways with the mechanism. So I'm going to put just glue about the top half of this piece. Kind of center it. Oops. Try not to move it when it's still wet. Okay, and I could have inked the back before. It probably would have been wise to do that. And I'm just going to um, take a minute to ink around all of the edges of this. All right, so there's my secret journaling um, packet thing. But I'm also going to make a little bit of a kind of a cover for this. So I want a piece that is, um, I just have this uh, piece of scrap, not really even a scrap, it's a pretty big piece from when I was working on the folio pockets initially. This is also from the Spring Bounty collection. So I am going to make So I want to make a piece that is um, three and three eighths wide. This is three and a quarter. And I want it just a little bit wider than that. So I'm going to do it three and three eighths wide. And then I want it to be three and a half inches tall. I just realized this is white on the other side. I probably should have done double-sided, but there are always ways to change that, isn't there? Okay, so then I want to score on the top of each of these at a half of an inch. And then I think I'm just going to back these with um, maybe even just some book page. I'll just look around for something and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I put a little bit of uh, just some random paper I had in my scrap pile. Trying not to always print digitals, even though I want to, um, until I um, reduce a little bit of my scraps there. So, and then I sewed around the edge of that. And I also just decorated my pocket a little bit. I made a little cluster with uh, one of the large rabbits and a couple of the labels. And I just glued it on these sides so that I can tuck in. I just backed that and I'll tuck that in for a little tuck there. So then at the top, I want to glue this flap, this part of the flap onto the top of here. And it doesn't really matter where it is, but it needs to be, I don't want it overlapping the pocket. I want it above the pocket. So I will just put some glue on there. On the flap. Just kind of center from side to side. And I'm just going to press that on for a second to get that to hold. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little piece of ledger that I um, folded and inked, and I'm just going to glue that just the very bottom part on top. So if I fold it all up, I want to glue this part onto the flap here. And I'm actually just going to use my, my tape here for that, because this is just copy paper, so I don't want it to be kind of ripply and whatever. And then I just want it right up here, not, I mean, a tiny little space so it doesn't hang up on there. And centered from side to side, like that. So then that will pull away like that. And the flap will cover this. And then for our closure, we're gonna take our tag. I put a little uh, tab and a eyelet on there. We'll put our tag into our pocket and that will be the closure for our flap. So I finished the other one as well. So there's my tag, I decorated the pocket a little bit. So you take out the tag, you flip this up, you pull this down, you can write on all of that and on the back there, and then flip this up, fold that in. Oh, and I have, uh, when I glued this on, I just left a little tuck space there as well. So. That actually might look cute there, so I'll put something, tuck something in there. I'll probably decorate these tags a little bit as well. Um, but that just fits in the pocket and holds the flap closed. So that is our two pieces for today. I decorated the top of that one. I'll put something on here as well. And there we go. So it still closes. That's good. <laughs> so the next time, I think the only other, I think this space and this space I'm going to leave without um, anything. Maybe like, you know, just a label or something like that. But um, the paper is so beautiful and I don't want extra bulk side by side here. I've still, I've got these four pockets there. I've got these pockets and writing space there. So next time I'm just going to um, make something to put into these two pockets. And then we'll see how it goes. I might do another session to finish off the cover and a closure. I might do that with these pockets, depending on how long that video goes. So there's one or two videos left um, on finishing that. But it's a really nice size, really nice filled out size, but not too fat. So I'm really happy with that so far. So. And I'm really happy that I put um, that medical tape on these uh, joints here because I think after all of this stuff is in here, I would have had a problem with uh, maybe some tearing. So anyways, I hope you're following along. I hope that was fun um, doing those um, pockets and tags and, and flip out journaling spaces this time. And we'll see you in the next one. Blessings. Blessings. <laughs>